to put golf in perspective, as you get older, um, you and, and I think younger, if you can, is to put golf in its place and understand that it that it is just a game. Uh, but it, again, I see junior golfers very difficult to see that. In fact, I uh, one more story in the book. I we were playing NCAA. We we ended up winning the NCAA my senior year at University of Houston, but. I came into the last hole of the tournament and had about a 15-foot uphill putt, and I, you know, I we didn't have scoreboards, we didn't have phones, we didn't know. I didn't know how he stood. Everybody was just trying to do their best. Right. I ran it by the hole about three feet. I missed it coming back, and I just stormed off the green. You know, basically signed my card and just threw it. And and um, our locker, uh, this was at Seven Oaks Golf Course, upstate New York, and I, I. First, opened the door in the locker room to go to my locker, and here coming down the stairs was a uh, about a eleven or twelve year old kid, and he he was having difficulty getting down the stairs. He was on crutches, and they were those metal crutches that fit on your arms. They were the not you know sprain your ankle type crutches, but they were hey, I'm going to have these crutches the rest of my life crutches, and that was like instant karma for me. I'll never forget uh, completely all the anger, all the disappointment, all the self loathing. Of, of you know dragging my whole team down by three putt in the last hole all of that just left my body because I realized it is just a game and that was a gift from God just to say hey this kid you're looking at he's got a battle his whole life and you just happened maybe you lost this battle today but but he's got a battle it every day so that was a wonderful thing for me we ended up winning the NCAA thank God uh, if we'd lost by one, you know, I'd want to, you know, but, but I did, uh, that was, that was a, a great a gift of perspective. That one really got me when I read that one. I, I, I had the chills when you were just telling the story, even though I knew what it was going to happen. Cause I mean, it, it, it se- seems like the golf gods will, will kind of give you those things every once in a while too, you know, like you yeah. might have a bad round and then you'll figure out some news in your life or something else with a family or friend. And it's like, Nobody cares. Uh, you know, That's exactly right. Putt, or that I had that bad round. Like nobody cares, and it's right. Like, and you and and the golfer who plays tournaments love this game so much. It's mm-hmm. it's so hard to and like you said, it's hard to not personalize it. I fully understand since it's my business as well. And. But man, the golf gods are testing you, and that's a good le- obviously a lesson that you learned and were able to share. And I know people will remember that. It was a gift. It was a great gift, and it, I, you know, you have goosebumps. I almost get goosebumps myself because that was really exactly what I needed at, mm-hmm. at the right time. So, so, but a, a golfer plays tournaments, they will harp on that, and they'll harp on that, and they'll harp on that, and because they don't have that perspective, and so all of these things work into you know being a, a tournament golfer versus just a golfer who shows up and plays tournaments but doesn't doesn't really have a clue how to manage themselves.